The Maybots were, were thought of as an extension to uh, multi-agent planning research. Uh, we had a team of robots in 2010 that won a competition called MAGIC, Multiple Autonomous Ground Robotics Competition. If you've seen these robots, they're quite large. <laughs> they're about 45, 50 pounds a piece, and they require a, a pretty large team of people to move. In an effort to reduce the startup cost and just difficulty and time required to, to do autonomous robotics, uh, we decided to build a smaller platform. We were looking for something simple, affordable, something that was also open source. We can provide users all the design files if they want to produce one themselves. And everything on this platform is made either of a printed circuit board, a commercially available component, or a 3D printed part, right? So you don't need a machine shop to produce it. The idea behind these is that you could take a box of 10 of these robots and just dump them out on the floor somewhere, and you now have a research platform to explore uh, communication and planning and a cooperative behavior without having to have a team of 12 people to carry the robots around. Another goal of this project was to support a course that's taught here. Professor Olson teaches a course in autonomous robotics, EX467. The, the goal of the course is to introduce students to autonomy in robotics and how to, how to teach robots how to do things by themselves without human intervention. If you want robots to do sophisticated things, you need them to be able to think on their own. And it's important in, in the course that we abstract as much of the hardware details away from the students. Typically when you get into robotics as a hobby or as a profession, you spend a lot of time on hardware, and hardware breaks easily. Professor Olson One is just a platform that you can hand to a student and say, here you go, you can program on this, it won't break. Like one of the interesting things is it's designed in uh, like a bi-level configuration. There's a baseboard which is built on an ARM5 processor and that itself is a really capable platform. It does all the communication with the sensors, it does the communication and control of the motors, which is the low-level stuff that the students probably don't want to have to worry about. We wrote all the software that takes care of all of that. And then there's the upper-level component which houses a much more powerful computer. It's a dual core 1.2 gigahertz Linux box that does the machine vision processing, talks to the camera, and that's what the students actually code on. It's just really cool. You can imagine all kinds of applications for mobile robots. You know, some of them have been dreamt up already. I think that there's a big space for autonomous teams of robots. As sort of our canonical example is search and rescue. We have all of these natural disasters that happen, you know, we have tornadoes and mudslides and tsunamis and you know, nuclear reactor meltdowns and all of these things are, are very dangerous for people to be in and it'd be really amazing if we could develop something that could potentially save lives. Mm -hmm.